What's up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for the Blue Bomber? Tom and Lady Lacey here celebrating 35 years of Mega Man and sharing memories with you and with other nerdlings in our community. You know who Dr. Wiley is, right? Yes, he's Albert Einstein. He does look a lot like Albert Einstein. Funny enough, there are actually a lot of rumors that suggest that maybe he was based off Albert Einstein. I mean, they bear an uncanny resemblance in the physicist that helped develop the atom bomb that would be dropped on Japan could be seen as an evil world-destroying genius from a different point of view. So, yeah, probably, probably not too far off from that comparison. Well, this time we are going to turn it over to our indie game developer, Stav, at Chronic Spartan Gaming. Tell us, what is Mega Man to you? What is Mega Man to me? Well, Mega Man is a little bit of nostalgia and a whole lot of education. So my first experiences with Mega Man were on the Game Boy. I didn't have it, but I borrowed it from a mate. Back in the day, I can't remember what game I lent to my mate, but we did that whole thing where you swap games for a bit, and I borrowed it for a week. And I remember thinking, this game is hard as nails, but it was so fun, so exciting. It was so different to Mario, which were like the other kind of platformers I'd played at the time. And I just really found it amazing and interesting. Didn't play a whole lot of it, like I said, I only borrowed it for a week. And since then, I never played another Mega Man game again in my life. But then, when I got into video game development, I started watching a lot of tutorials. I also started watching a lot of post-mortems and videos on what makes a great video game level. And one that came up was the intro, was the first level of Mega Man X. And how that is like the perfect example of a level which acts as a tutorial, but in disguise. And just introduces the player to everything the game has to offer all all the functionality all the features all the gameplay in that first level in the most natural sense where the player feels like they've learned it all themselves nothing was forced nothing was stuck in your face nothing was press a and up or any of that and that for me i always remember as the pinnacle and the perfect example of how to create the ex the exact first level the perfect first level of a game that introduces you to the game without a tutorial in the most perfect way. That's a long way of me saying that it really helped me in my game development journey and designing the first level of GLOW and, and trying to introduce the player slowly but in a methodical way to everything the game has to offer. So Mega Man has a bit of nostalgia but like I say I have a lot of respect for it because of what I've learned about it in terms of a game design. Oh, so so that's the secret behind designing Glow, is it? Yeah, plug, plug. <laughs> well, uh, well done, well done. Anyway, nerdlings, please check out the description in the link below to go over to Chronic Spartan Gaming's channel. Fantastic channel, very fun guy, soothing ASMR He's not voice. not a mushroom. <laughs> Be sure to leave your own Mega Man memories in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe, notification bell. Come on back for more Mega Memories. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public. Check us out on the Retro Refresh. And if we like it, we nerd it for Mega Man.